A Course in Miracles, Volume 2, Workbook for Students, Part 2, Lesson 307. Conflicting wishes cannot be my will. Father, your will is mine, and only that. There is no other will for me to have. Let me not try to make another will, for it is senseless and will cause me pain. Your will alone can bring me happiness, and only yours exists. If I would have what only you can give, I must accept your will for me and enter your peace where conflict is impossible. Your son is one with you in being and in will, and nothing contradicts the holy truth that I remain in you as you created me. And with this prayer, we enter silently into a state where conflict cannot come because we join our holy will with God's in recognition that they are the same. When going through this, the, I spent many a year wondering, oh my gosh, what if God's will is going to be something that I really, really just do not want? That I, what if he sends me to a country to go into the remotest of remote places to do something I really, really don't want to do? And I had this really obscure vision of God imposing this will upon me and it not being what I wanted. And I've actually come to realize that is such a lie. That is such a lie. It's not true. If God is within you and God is your source and all God wants for you is happiness, why on earth would God want you to suffer and be in pain and be in conflict? And so I looked at this long and hard and I've come to realize when I sit down and I go, what is it that I'm really, really good at and that I should be doing? What is it that, where can I serve? Where can I serve? Where can I best serve humankind? Where can I, where can I best give of my best? to those who really need it. And then I sat down one day and it took me seven years to figure it out, to, to actually go through a very, very dark, difficult time in my life, which was, yes, brought upon by external, ex external circumstances and myself. And I've really come to believe that you will know in your heart of hearts what it is that you should be doing. You will really, really know this. Forget the teachings. Forget who you've heard say what about the will of God. Forget everything and go within to that silent place within you and sit there with peace and in peace and ask yourself, where can I best be of service to humankind? Where would you have me go? What would you have me do? We say this every day. What would you have me say and to whom? And out of that was born the will that I know that I'm here to do. We are all united and connected through this, you can call it fragility of life, but we are all connected. There's a oneness that unifies us, but we have different parts to bring. Just like in any sports game, any position held, that team player has a certain goal, which is different to another position on the field. Just as it is the same in sport, so is it with your life. It might be as simple as caring for your parents, caring for your neighbors, caring for your children. It might be go out and get a Nobel Peace Prize. 
go out and get the Nobel Physics Prize, Literature Prize, whichever one. Doesn't matter. There's no grandiose scale to this. We have put that grandiose scale on it. We have put that grandiose scale on it. Sometimes we are asked to leave relationships, careers, things behind. But it's not a, an assertion of another's cruel will upon you to do these things. You will see that in doing these things, how you will blossom and grow into the person you are truly here to become. You know, I always love this one scripture. Naked I came from my mother's womb and naked I shall depart. You were born into this world without any idea of color, gender, race, like race social status, demographics. You were born into this world with nothing and you will leave with nothing, with no, no material possessions can you take with you. Although some religions do believe you can in the afterlife. And so I want to really challenge you on this because, because as humankind, we all came into this world through birth. No one is different. Even the biblical Jesus came through being born. We all come into this life and we are all leaving this life. We are all leaving this life. But what happens in between is entirely up to us. But there can be no conflicting will if you truly want peace and to do that which will serve the betterment of humankind. Where it says, and I want to read this again, and with this prayer, we enter silently into a state where conflict cannot come because we join our holy will with God's in recognition that they are the same. The prayer, in other words, is meant to introduce a meditation in which we enter silently into a state where conflict cannot come. Now, why would there be conflict? If you really want to serve in the best way, why would there be conflict? Well, I'll tell you why. Because we have human nature. I have known for a long time what my my calling is and what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm telling you, I went kicking and screaming all the way to the point where I am today, realizing and recognizing and saying, okay, I will stand up and do this regardless. And sure, it's going to mean a falling away of some close friendships and it's going to mean um, a complete change in scenery and a complete change in activities and a complete change in many things. But it's what I'm meant to be doing. And if I don't do it, I'm doing a disservice to humankind. And that's not what I want. So sit with it. Go into that quiet contemplative state. Some call it meditation. Doesn't matter what you call it. Just go into that Breathe in, out, and find the peace within that you can see without a shadow of a doubt exactly what it is you're meant to be doing. So, I hope you enjoy this. I know it can be scary, so if it is, reach out to me below and I will give you guidance where I can. Until tomorrow, take care.